Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at some more Buster 3 content in Standard with Blue-White Control, a deck that you couldn't really play with Field of the Dead being one of the most popular decks in Standard, since that completely destroyed this type of strategy. But now with Field of the Dead getting banned, this might become a viable strategy. And we're basically a Blue-White Planar Cleansing Control deck, meaning we can destroy all non-land permanents for 6 mana. And the reason we're playing Planar Cleansing is so we have good answers to all the various card types in Standard. There's a lot of enchantments being played, think Fires of Invention, maybe even Guild Summit might make a resurgence and lots of Planeswalkers, think Oko, Nyssa. Even though Planar Cleansing doesn't kill the lands that Nyssa can make, it's still a nice answer to a lot of the problematic permanents that you might encounter. By playing Planar Cleansing, we don't get to play enchantment-based removal spells, so you won't see any Prison Realms or Glass Caskets in this deck, since those are non with Planar Cleansing. We do have a couple of Planeswalkers, but we're okay just activating these a couple of times, and then even if they die to our own Planar Cleansing, it's not a disaster. So how do we win the game? We usually win the game with uh, either a Realm Cloak Giant, which can turn into a 7-7 Vigilance to close out the game, but for the most part we're using Fae of Wishes to grab a sideboard card to help us close out the game. And playing Fae of Wishes for 2 mana against some more aggressive decks as a 1-4 blocker to protect our life total and our 3 mana Planeswalkers is also very good. So having a win condition that can double up as an early game play is quite valuable. So going over some of the card choices, at 1 mana we've got the full play set of Opts as just a cheap cantrip to help us find whatever we're missing. Of course, the two Fae of Wishes, we'll go over the sideboard in just a second. Then we also have two copies of Divine Arrow, since we don't get to play with enchantment-based removal spells, and we want to play as many instant speed spells as possible, so we get to play those alongside our counter spells. We don't have a ton of options in standard, and Divine Arrow dealing 4 damage to an attacking or blocking creature actually lines up quite well against a lot of the popular cards in standard. Think uh, Nightpack Ambusher is a 4-4 we can kill, the Questing Beast we can kill, we can even kill a Sarkon that turns into a dragon out of the Jeskai decks, so it can take care of a lot of problematic creatures. Now it won't be able to deal with a card like Lovestruck Beast for example, so there are definitely cases where Divine Arrow is not good enough, but it's not like we have any great alternatives. At 2 mana we could also be playing with Gideon's Triumph, but this card can be very awkward against uh, Gruul Spellbreaker, since then we can't even target the opponent in the first place, not even targeting a different creature to kill instead. So at least Divine Arrow can still kill another creature besides the Spellbreaker. So that's uh, one of the card choices. Then we also have a lot of 2 mana counter spells. The major reason is we want to be able to counter opposing Teferi Time Ravelers, since uh, that card is very good against us for obvious reasons. And so we have 2 Quench and 3 copies of Dovin's Veto with one more in the sideboard to help against the 3 mana Planeswalkers. Then at 3 mana we've got 4 copies of Narset, which is just a great card giving us a lot of card selection and card advantage. Also great if cards like uh, Guild Summit start making Resurgence and uh, of course very good against opposing Teferis as well. We've got the full play set of Teferi, which is great, letting us cast some of our sorceries at instant speed is quite valuable, but just a great card overall, giving us a ton of flexibility. Then we also have the full playset of Absorb, being able to counter Spell and gain 3. The life gain is very valuable against more aggressive decks, and just having a 3 mana counter spell that covers everything is quite nice, as long as the opponent doesn't have a Teferi in play. Then we also have two copies of Chemist's Insight to have more instant speed card draw, plays well with our counter spells, so if the opponent doesn't play into our counters, we can just draw some cards instead with the Chemist's Insight. Then we get to the Sweepers, three copies of Time Wipe, one copy of a Realm Cloak Giant. Time Wipe we can find with Narset, whereas we can't find a Realm Cloak Giant. And uh, Time Wipe also plays quite well with card like Fae of Wishes, as we get to pick it back up without having to discard any cards, and maybe wish for something else. A Realm Cloak Giant can be a win condition as well, so it's nice to have this every now and then, and being able to bounce it back with the Fairy so we get another Sweeper is pretty sweet too. And then of course the three copies of Planar Cleansing, which is uh, one of the more important cards in the deck. Then the mana base is still definitely a work in progress. Right now I'm playing one Castle Ardenvale and one Castle Ventress as nice mana sinks for the late game. We've got lots of basic lands, seven planes, seven islands, as well as two copies of Mystic Sanctuary to put an instant or sorcery back on top of our deck. Can be nice to get back one of our sweepers or counter spells in the late game. And then Four Hallowed Fountain also doubles up as an island for the Mystic Sanctuary. 
and uh, full four copies of Tranquil Cove as kind of a necessary evil, but the life gain can be nice against aggro decks as well. Then we get to the sideboard. First we'll go over some of the cards we might search up with Fail of Wishes as win conditions. Jay's Wielder of Mysteries can win us a game just by drawing a card from an empty library. Can also deck the opponent with the plus one, so pretty flexible card. Then we also have a Finale of Glory, which especially if we can cast it end of turn with Teferi in play at uh, instant speed, can be a nice way to just uh, present a lethal board if we can cast it for X equals 10 or more, but uh, also just a smaller Finale of Glory can help us win the game. And then Emergency Powers is also a sweet one if we have a Narsad in play, since then the opponent will only get to draw one card, we get to draw an entire fresh hand and also put a permanent in play, so maybe put an extra Planeswalker out there. So this can be a nice way to refuel, also a way to get uh, cards from our graveyard back into our library if the game goes super long. And then we've got some additional sweepers, planar cleansing, and an additional time wipe that we can search up with Fae of Wishes as well. Then we've got some of the more traditional sideboard cards for the best of three. We've got two copies of Devout Decree, mostly against the mono red decks. Being able to deal with a Chandra or a Torbran can be pretty important. We've got a Disenchant against the Fires of Invention decks. Two more copies of Divine Arrow, mostly against kind of the Gruul aggro decks. We've got an Aether Gust to delay or bounce a red and green spell, so can be quite flexible as well. Maybe delay a Shifting Ceratops for an extra turn. We've got Disdainful Stroke as another counter spell, and an extra Dovin's Veto, as well as two copies of Mystical Dispute, can maybe help us counter those early Okos out of the blue green food deck. The sideboard is still definitely a work in progress, but I've been pretty happy with the different Fae of Wishes targets but uh, the remaining cards could definitely still change around quite a bit. And uh, the mana base might also change a little bit more, can maybe experiment with additional castles, but I also don't want to overdo it since too many castles means that in the early game we'll have a lot of lands come into play tapped, and that's why we need to make sure we can keep up these two mana counter spells as well. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into a match and see how the deck does. Hmm, not a great hand. Also not a terrible hand. We'll try it for science. Do I Teferi and risk getting teferi on the way back? Or do I keep up Dovin's Veto and wait until turn 5? I think I'm gonna wait. Now that we don't have any option, I'll play Teferi. So my point's probably on a Fires of Invention deck, in which case I might not want to minus right away. They had a second to ferry. Not much we can do about that one, other than eventually casting our planar cleansing, which we have a lot of. And planar cleansing can be pretty decent against the heavy planeswalker builds. That's more like it. Now my opponent could play Sarkon, turn to ferry into a dragon, and then I can no longer minus. But then planar cleansing would deal with both planeswalkers if I draw land, I guess. Shimmer, so yeah, they're definitely on a Fires of Invention deck here. Narsets. Narsets annoying, because now I don't get to draw my cards from Teferi before needing to Planar Cleansing. I would love if my opponent uses a... Um, Prisoner Realm on my Teferi, because then I would get it back post-cleansing. There's a Fires of Invention. And a Prisoner Realm. Alright, come on, White Source, one time. Alright, now do I minus? Probably. Just want to get the cards flowing. 
Got plenty more to ferry if they have another fires. Nurse is pretty good against us. Finds another to ferry. Well, this is probably going to be another planar cleansing. Now I can't end of turn planar cleansing if they play to ferry. Despite having plussed. So just waiting for the opponent to play more stuff that dies to the cleansing, basically. Are those all the Teferis? Yep, we found all four Teferis in the top uh, 20 cards. So your opponent is up quite a few cards. Ooh, Castle was a nice draw. I don't really feel compelled to cleansing yet, since now I have Castle to pressure these Planeswalkers. Alright, now we have a good reason to cleansing. Could wait a turn. I'll take another eight, but I feel like I need to get a bit more value. I won't forget our time together. They might also make a dragon instead to protect their planeswalkers from my tokens. There we go. Alright, now I can go face. And I can make a token or play Teferi. We know our opponent's gonna have a Teferi as well. It's not like my opponent's playing counter spells. It's mostly just to draw a card here. I think I prefer making a token. Alright, so that's the last Teferi. If we deal with that, we don't have to worry about any Teferis for the time being. Opponent's gonna plus because they know about our token. The reason I guess to play Teferi and draw there is if my opponent had another Narset. But having the token to pressure Narset is, is fine too. So what are we looking for here? Fay of Wishes, Narsets. Counter spells once the fairy's gone. Enough. Top top, that's scary. Yeah, I don't know the right mix of like uh, castles to play my deck yet. Now we're playing one white castle, a blue castle, and two mystic sanctuaries. But I could see playing more castles or playing more sanctuaries, who knows.
So the dragon prevents my token from killing Teferi here. So I can just play another Teferi, bounce a dragon, and then token kills Teferi, which seems decent. That's good too. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna attack the ferry and then I can insta speed time wipe because I plus the other to ferry. Come on. Only time will tell. I feel like I'm gonna need this planar cleansing. Even though they do get to keep fires of invention, which maybe allows them to do some powerful things. Alright, that's a problem. That's a good one. So if I make a token, I can still time wipe, but I guess then my token dies, but might as well. Unless I wanted to like planar cleanse to get instant speed, which I didn't think I do. So I'm just going to time wipe here. Hopefully I can find some of my own card draw engines. Counter spells are good too now. Alright. Fear of Wishes. So what do I wish for? I will have 7 mana post wish. I could wish for... <laughs> Emergency powers, but I don't have a Narset in play. Finale could be good, but my opponent definitely has a couple sweepers in hand. So I would need instant speed Finale, which I don't have any Teferis left, or I guess one left. So it's unclear what I should get here. Could just get a counterspell. Or Jace, I guess, is fine. Yeah, maybe Jace. Could have done my mana better, so I would keep up uh, Absorb mana. Just gonna start milling my opponents. Ah, didn't get punished. Not gonna play the Fail of Wishes until I can return it right away. Don't wanna have it killed. Opponent's cries on upkeep again. Top top. Seems like they could have waited since they topped the card already, unless they were looking for something in particular. So yeah, Narset would be annoying. Prisoner Realm not so much since we have another planar cleansing. So hopefully they run out another permanent that dies to it. Well that forces them to return it to hand, so it doesn't quite do the trick. But Vito is good. I would like to keep cleansing posts like another Sarkon, but now that I picked up Vito, I think it's good timing to just do it now. So my opponent's gonna bounce the Fae of Wishes back to hand, discarding two useless removal spells. Double Clarion. No, I'm just gonna say go. I suppose I could play Fail of Wishes. And then if my opponent doesn't do anything, end of turn I can just bounce it back. So yeah, let's counter the adventure. It's 
Sarkon, sure. So I could use a few wishes here, discarding some stuff, but the Divine Arrow actually lines up well against uh, Dragon and Sarkon. So I could discard Realm Cloaked and Time Wipe, but Realm Cloaked is also kind of decent. So maybe I should take my draw step first. I can attack Sarkon. If they block, I Divine Arrow. If they don't block, I deal one. Listen to them roar. Could save the Divine Arrow for Sarkon itself. Maybe that's actually better. And just bounce my uh, Fey. Maybe I should have just cast a Time Wipe. Yeah, that probably would have been better. Just cast a Time Wipe to pick up Fey of Wishes. And then Divine Arrow for Sarkon. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. So how do we fix this? Alright, let's do this. And this leaves arrow plus uh, absorb at the ready. So you can kill Sarkon if they try and attack Jace and absorb their next play. So yeah, what I should have done was just cast a time wipe, pick up my fail wishes and then have arrow for Sarkon. Just gonna keep up all my counters for now. Not really in a hurry. Opponent has 20 cards left versus my 28, so they're definitely decking first thanks to Jace. Can ultimate Jace soon. One card that could very well beat me here is uh, Chandra. But there's not a ton of Chandras being played. Plus, so I can fave wishes end of turn. And then Fey, I guess, can find Finale if I want to. Or another Counterspell. Alright, so this was only game one. And it uh, took quite a while, but it was a pretty sweet game. So yeah, this is a matchup where we might want our main deck Disenchant. Don't need all the sweepers. Can definitely cut the time wipes, I think. But I like the planar cleansings. Uh, stroke seems good, Dispute seems good, Counter Narsets and Teferis, and then Aether Gusts. It's pretty narrow, it's just for the enchantment basically, and Sarkon. Could be okay, but it's not amazing. And then Divine Arrow is um, also not at its best, but it does deal with uh, the 4 fours from Sarkon. Realm Cloaked is also cuttable, could also board in up to 4 Planar Cleansings. But maybe my opponent also shaves some of their enchantment based removal. So yeah, the two arrows are the, probably the most questionable cards. Yeah, probably want Vito main deck over arrow. Yeah, I'll keep in one arrow, I think, in case Sarkon slips through the cracks. Well, I do have double opts. Which is nice, but um, one lander is pretty sketchy. Don't have any counter spells for opposing Teferis. 
little mulligan. Alright, I guess I can keep this. Bottom the Divine Arrow. And I've got a turn two veto for Teferi. I don't think I want to tap out for Narset. Kind of want to just hit my land drops here, which is about to be a problem. Land four would give me insights, which would be great. They might have their own counter spell, but of course Dovin's Veto can be countered, so. I think I wanna just keep up my mana, go for insights. Hope that my opponent respects another counter spell. Alright, did not find more counters. Yep. So what do I discard to my chemistries is the question. So maybe it's a fail of wishes. So we can pay for this. Bounce a dragon, Sarkon kills the fairy, and then there's a Sarkon in play, but that's manageable. And then this card, probably just a land. Although hitting land drops is pretty important. Can't really afford to discard my second Fae of Wishes since I need that to grab a win condition at some point. It's also possible that they cut their um, Fires of Invention after sideboard to make room for the counter spells, since Fires is not the best combo with counter spells. Right, opponent did have fires, and now planar cleansing looks great. Back up fires into another Sarkon. All right. So I've got a couple of options. I could go for Disenchant, Teferi Bounce Dragon, then Sarkon kills Teferi, and I still need to deal with the Sarkon. Could just Planar Cleansing, which seems like the most straightforward answer here. Alright, see what my opponent gets. Without the uh, fires in play, the Fae of Wishes is less scary. Gets a backup Sarkon. Uh, hopefully we can find a counterspell with Narset. Just the 
Probably take the opts. And probably opt main phase. That only works if my opponent doesn't play a land, so it's kind of sketchy. I'll try it. No. So much commotion. So should I bother tapping them out? It does make it so if they have their own counter spell, at least my next interactive spell will work. Could also favor wishes for another planar cleansing, although I won't have the mana to cast it. This also means that if they're tapped out, they can't bounce the Fae of Wishes, which could be useful. No sword can pierce my scales. Come to me. Your and there's all the counters. The fairy bounce dragon, I guess. And now I can Narset. Could also Fey to get my win condition. How much can I finale for here? Seven. Not enough. So let's just Narset for now. My is Keep an open mind. So we'll lose both my Planeswalkers here. But I've got plenty of card draw in hand, so I just want to make sure I survive here until I find an answer. Are you ready? We will meet again. So again, just trying to buy time until we can fave wishes for Finale of Glory, I think. Devon's Vito is very good too, so yeah, we seem to be in a bit of trouble. Since now even if I find a planar cleansing, they have that covered. There is no peace in I can see. The fairies, one way to kind of get around Dovin's Veto. So I have one planar cleansing left in my main deck, and one on the sideboard. The problem with Teferi and then Fae of Wishes is that they kill my Teferi and then they can just Dovin's Veto the Planar Cleansing on the following turn. So that wouldn't really work. So I guess I'll just cry with my castle now. Chandra's a real issue. Since that puts a clock on us. And can counter it. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. 
Yeah, Aether Ghost would help against Chandra. So I need to top deck cleansing pretty much, I think. Don't think there's any other plays available. Can't really afford to scry. So it's top deck cleansing or bust. All right, well. So minusing doesn't accomplish anything with Narset. Don't really want to let my opponent activate their Planeswalkers again. So yeah, I'll just do this now. I could do this upkeep. I guess it would make them spend two mana on Fae of Wishes in their turn instead of now. Ashok, they're gonna try and mill me. I have my win condition in hand. Three, six, eleven mana, so I need one more for finally for 10, but I also want to kind of back it up with counter spells if possible. So I'm probably just gonna wait. I could fail wishes now, I suppose. Even though this does give my opponent a bit of extra info. Yeah, I think finale is probably the best way to go here. Alright, so the plan now is basically to just hit my land drops, scrying with castle to maybe find them, and then cast a big finale with counter spell backup if possible. I guess I don't have to go for X equals 10, I can just do a small amount too, but... I suppose I could have won with Jace self mill as well, potentially. That was another option. But after sideboard, my opponent shouldn't have many answers for a bunch of creatures. Of course, another Chandra wiping the board is a problem if I just make a bunch of tutus, so that's a reason to go for X equals 10. the ferry, and then I can draw the planes, that seems fine. And then the ferry can also set up end of turn finale, which is nice. Fourteen cards remaining, so I will probably have to pull the trigger pretty soon on this finale, otherwise I'm just gonna deck. Suppose I could also cast a Fae of Wishes to pressure Ashok. Could also Fae of Wishes to get Jace and win that way, so we've got some options here. Ten cards left. Prison Realm. How much do we care about Prison Realm? A little bit. Alright, fine.
All right, opponent packs it in. So if they didn't die to Finale, then they probably would have died to another Fae of Wishes for Jace. And then Jace could have won just by decking myself. Well, that was quite a battle. Needed to top deck Planar Cleansing. And we did. So that was pretty lucky. Made a couple mistakes that game, especially the turn where I attacked with the Fae of Wishes instead of just casting the Time Wipe in the first game. That second game also showcased why after sideboard it can still be nice to have a couple Divine Arrows against Sarkon, just so you don't have to just rely on Planar Cleansing. The blue-white deck just plays with Counterspells better than the Fires of Invention deck, since Fires plus Counterspells are kind of a nombo. So as long as we can keep Sarkon in check with Cleansing and Counterspells, we should have a better game plan overall. But uh, Chandra can definitely be kind of the mirror breaker that can uh, be an issue. But if they just plus Chandra once, like, it's not going to kill us with the one damage per turn. But if they get multiple activations, then uh, that could be an issue if we don't answer her right away. So would I make any changes? I was pretty happy with having like the split win condition of both Jace and Finale to kind of have both angles covered. Uh, it didn't come up in that game, but Emergency Powers plus Narset is a pretty sweet combo. And having four Dovin's Veto in the 75 is pretty sweet too. Multiple occasions where if Dovin's Veto was a negate, my opponent would have been able to counter it. And the other way around as well, like them having Dovin's Veto meant that we couldn't planar cleansing and then have our own counter spell to counter their Dovin's Veto. So it's definitely a pretty big upgrade, even though it does make it a little bit more difficult to cast sometimes. So I want to thank everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.